from a movie that many thought would be an absolute flop to raking in more than $365 million in theaters. Here is everything we know about The Nun 2. For those of you who don't know, The Nun is part of The Conjuring universe. And since The Conjuring's debut in 2013, the now iconic horror franchise has maintained a steady and reliable presence, becoming one of the most well-known horror franchises ever produced by Blumhouse. Jason Bloom continues to make box office hit after box office hit. Both The Conjuring and The Conjuring 2 pulled in major audiences and big dollars at the box office. But it was The Nun that became the cream of the crop and the cash cow for the Bloom House productions. The Nun actually has the highest box office performance in the whole Conjuring universe to date. Directed by Corin Hardy, The Nun just smashed the box office, grossing an astounding $365 million in theaters. Can you believe that? We couldn't. Especially considering the fact that it had received a mere 27% critic score on Rotten Tomatoes, making it the worst reviewed film of the bunch. But that's Hollywood. You never know what might hit it out of the park. And who doesn't love going to the movies and watching horror films? These kinds of movies get butts in seats. And now, everyone's favorite demonic nun, Balak, is set to return to our screens later this year. It's hardly surprising that a second film is coming. I mean, the sequel has been talked about since 2019. And given that the first film was the most commercially successful installment in the Conjuring universe to date, it really is a no-brainer. Production has been progressing quickly. In fact, the movie has already been shot, a release date has been set, and all that's left for us to see is the movie itself. Pretty exciting, right? Now, speaking of a release date, when exactly can we expect to see our favorite creepy nun back on the big screen? Well, as far as we know. So mark it on your calendars and prepare for the fright of your life. Next, who can we expect to see return? Well, in terms of the returning cast members, the American American Horror Story actor Tessa Farmiga will reprise her role as Sister Irene. Now, for those who may be unaware, Sister Irene is a pretty major character in the Conjuring horror film franchise, appearing as the main protagonist in the first film titled The Nun. She's a nun who's brought to the St. Carta Monastery to help combat the blasphemous demon Valet. Actor Jonas Bloquet will play Maurice Frenchy Theriault, a French Canadian farmer and one of the main protagonists in The Nun, as well as a minor character in The Conjuring and Annabelle Comes Home. More Maurice is slated to be one of the main characters in The Nun 2, and we can't wait to see how his storyline unfolds. Now, sadly, it doesn't appear that Damien Bursher will return for his role as Father Burke. In The Nun, you may remember that Father Burke is presented as one of the Vatican's go-to men for all odd and abnormal happenings around the world, often referenced as the James Bond of miracles. Burke's entrance, complete with his black priest robes and matching cap, is eerily reminiscent of Father Lancaster Mirren's costume from The Exorcist, but the parallel between the two characters go far beyond that. Burke was tortured by Valak while being buried alive, which reminds us of the flashing demonic face from The Exorcist. But more on those comparisons later. As you can see, Father Burke is now long gone dead in the ground, but he could still appear in flashbacks. Now, on to the next. Naturally, Bonnie Ahrens is set to come back for her role as Balak. Along with some returning faces, there are also some brand new actors jumping on the scene. Storm Reed, who starred in the smash hit series Euphoria and The Suicide Squad, is slated to take on a main role in the sequel. However, it has not been revealed as of yet who she'll be playing. Alongside Reed, Anna Popplewell will portray the role of Kate, a school teacher at St. Mary's School in France, and a widowed, loving mother to 10-year-old Sophie, who is set to be played by actress Caitlin Rose Downey. Now, of course, everybody wants Patrick Wilson and Vera Farmiga, aka Ed and Lorraine Warren, to appear in the sequel, and they do have cameos at the end of The Nun, but their return in the sequel hasn't been confirmed. I've gotta say, though, it would be super cool if they showed up in the sequel. After all, they're the faces of the Conjuring universe. Fans have speculated that if they return, this could finally answer the question of whether or not Sister Irene is a a younger version of Lorraine. Now, that would be a huge plot twist. And speaking of the plot, do we know anything about the sequel storyline? Well, first, let's take a look back at the first movie. In the original film, The Nun, nuns fought against an evil entity at a monastery in 1950s Romania. The main antagonist of the movie, Valak, first appeared in The Conjuring 2 in 2016. Now, the cast announcements have given fans a very basic notion of what to expect, even though specifics are still very much 
Revenge, a closely guarded secret. The sequel shifts the location from Romania to France in 1956, four years after the original movie. There, a priest is killed, and Sister Irene once more interacts with Valak. Although there isn't much information here, it does hint at a fresh conflict between Irene and Valak, as well as a struggle between right and wrong. And while we still don't have a teaser, we already know that The Nun 2 has a lot in store for us, and it definitely won't be the last time we'll be seeing Valak. So, to finish things off, we thought it would only be right to do a little recap on why The Nun became so popular in the first place. It's no secret to anyone who watched the first film that a little nun seems to go a long way. You don't need to see The Nun at every corner to feel her evil presence. The Nun also appears in fleeting yet very effective moments throughout multiple movies in The Conjuring World. Her cheekbones protruding like daggers from her chalky white skin, her eyes were a piercing yellow, and her bloody fangs created a terrifying image. But what makes The Nun work so effectively? Well, she was never the main character in The Conjuring films, but whenever she appeared, the audience was captivated and intrigued. So it's only natural that a film all about her would garner a huge viewership. The Nun was also able to distinguish itself from other demon-themed horror films, with well-developed characters, impressive acting, and it evokes strong emotions in the viewer. Another reason why The Nun was so well-received is the fact that it draws a lot of comparisons to the 1974 horror classic The Exorcist. Due to its religious context, possession themes, terrible killer demons, and Father Burke reminds fans of the priest seen in The Exorcist, who performs very similar practices. And while each film is different in its own right, the concept of an exorcism seems to draw in audiences from far and wide. Clearly, they're fascinating film concepts. So, from a horror movie that many didn't have high hopes for, to a disturbing and captivating movie about to launch its highly anticipated sequel, that's everything you need to know about The Nun 2. Sister, please. That's all.